Welcome back. In this video we are going to create a space themed landscape. You could create all of these and make your own landscape or you could do them individually and have kind of like an icon set at the very end of this which is a great way to start selling things on places like Creative Market or even a way to make stickers for places like Redbubble or even for yourself to sell on Etsy. The very first one we're going to create is a rocket ship. And I know I've been over this numerous times in the videos before. One of the things that I absolutely love about Affinity Designer are all of the shape tools. It does make creating much easier than using Illustrator where you really have to make everything yourself. So the shapes greatly help and are such a time saver. So I'm going to grab the tier tool to make the rocket. I'm just going to do gray with a light gray. And then convert to curves up at the very top, kind of in the center. It automatically switches to the node tool. Select the two points on the left and right side and I'm just going to hold shift, move this up, grab the handlebar, bring this over, and then the corner tool, select that top point. And I like to pull down slightly because I can like more of a rounded edge. And you can always kind of bring that in. I'm going to bring these up a little bit more. Okay, so there is the basic shape of the rocket. And I want the tip of this to be a different color. We'll go with red. And then I want to create a clipping mask so I can do that below. And I like doing the clipping masks at first anyways because I can easily go back and change them as I'm designing. Another way you could do it is by subtracting but that is definitely the more permanent option. So while I'm still editing, clipping mask, grab the ellipse tool. And this is kind of for like a window in the rocket ship. So command C, command V, bring this in. I am going to use the pen tool to create the wings of the plane. All you need to do is create a few points. So one on the spaceship and then just create the shape of the wing that you would like. And I'm going to use that same red that I've used on the rest of the rocket. Layer this behind. I'm actually going to enlarge this. And then Command C, Command V to copy and paste. Up at the top right, flip horizontally and bring to the other side. Grabbing the rectangle tool, just going to add one little square or rectangle onto the ship. And then grab the trapezoid tool. I do like this being slightly smaller going to change this to that gray color and this is where you can add a flame. You can also use the double star tool. And this is one where I would go ahead and use the divide tool. And I'm just going to delete any of the parts that I no longer want. And all of these sections that should go together. I'm going to add back to one piece. Copy and paste that flame. Change to orange. Copy, paste again. And now you can go in and start adding 
some details to your ship. I'm going to add some strokes. So after everything has been grouped, I still have a few items in there that have a stroke. So if I change the size of this ship at all, that stroke is not going to stay in proportion to everything else. So I want to go up to layer and expand stroke. So the next thing that I'm going to create is a UFO. So first the ellipse tool and create an oval. Once again with the ellipse tool, create a circle and I'm actually going to do this one the same color as the glass over here. I'm going to convert to curves and then with the node tool or A on your keyboard, I'm just going to bring this top one up. We'll bring the bottom one up, that top one down, and the ones on the sides bring in like maybe 45 degrees. And then I like to add in some more ellipses around the edge of the ship. And using the rectangle tool, it's going to make one thin rectangle using the ellipse, putting one on the bottom, making kind of like feet for the UFO. Select everything, and you have your UFO. I'm going to make a planet with that ellipse. So you can make it any color you want. A lighter color to create some shapes on the planet. So like some crevices. And then I'm also going to use the pen tool to create some lines in the planet. I'm going to select both of those and give them the same color as the ellipses and enlarge that stroke. I'm going to go ahead and expand the stroke, create the clipping mask in the planet, group everything together. I'm going to enlarge this. And you can very easily make a moon shape with the crescent tool and the color, switching it to color instead of stroke. You can change the shape of this by going to the very top and that left curve you can see brings it in and then the right curve I'm going to change this to like a yellow shape and you can always add some stars by using either the star tool or the double star I like to do variations of the size because it's space and there are all different lengths and depths. And right now, as you can see, they are all facing in the same direction. So I like to go through and rotate all of them. And if you want some more stars, you can very easily use the ellipse tool. Using the rectangle tool, I'm going to do the entire shape of the document. And I want to change this to a dark navy blue. Bring it to the back. So there is your space theme landscape. I hope you enjoyed the class. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you create anything from this class, please feel free to share it with me on any of my social media because I would love to see it. Thanks guys.